In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass today. Monday the 10th of August, there's no particular Mass intention today, but we're remembering Saviour and Mary Coney, Christine Galindo, Teresa Crichton, Father Benito, Brian Hubbs, Paul Gallagher, Noreen Steedman, Maggie Kaleska's mum, the mother of Mary Palomares, Carlos Duran, Rosa Beard, Luke Mehmet, Stephen Nightingale, Lena Vinayagam, Healing for Julio and Anna, to remember the people of Beirut and all care workers and also Sheila Sagayam's intentions. Okay, we're keeping today the Feast of St. Lawrence, a famous deacon, which is uh, what's attracted Anthony to come, come to Mass this morning for his feast. Um, he's one of the seven deacons of the Church of Rome. But uh, we don't know too much about him. But there is a, a basilica built over his tomb by the Emperor Constantine. And the anniversary of his martyrdom was always kept as a special feast. His name occurs in the Roman canon of the Mass. So the readings today are for, that, for the Mass of St. Lawrence, and they emphasise the challenge of martyrdom. So let's pause now and prepare for our Mass. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that ardour of love for you by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. The first reading is from the second book of Corinthians. Do not forget, thin sowing means thin reaping. The more you sow, the more you reap. Each one should give what he has decided in his own mind, not grudgingly or because he is made to, for God loves a cheerful giver. And there is no limit to the blessings which God can send you. He will make sure that you will always have all you need for yourselves in every possible circumstance and still have something to spare for all sorts of good works. As scripture says, he was free in almsgiving and gave to the poor. His good deeds will never be forgotten. The one who provides seed for the sower and bread for food will provide you with all the seed you want and make the harvest of your good deeds a larger one. 
The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Happy. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my Father will honour him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. There are three iconic deacon saints, and across the world there are always special memories and rec um, ceremonies of joy when they come. And the three icons are St. Stephen, the first martyr, the first deacon, appointed by Peter along with six others to serve the church. Second is St. Lawrence, I'll say a word in a moment, and the third is St. Francis of Assisi. In Westminster Cathedral, if you look at the back of the, the altar, the sanctuary, there are two big uh, mosaics, one of St. Stephen and one of St. Lawrence. St. Stephen, you can see lots of stones because he was stoned to death, and St. Lawrence because he was a martyr, and legend hasn't he was uh, martyred on a fire tied to a gridiron. And again, it's legend, but it sums up the life of St. Lawrence. He's one of the seven deacons of Rome, and serving the people of Rome. And when the soldiers of the emperor who were persecuting the church came to him, they said, we want all the goods, all the riches, all the gold of the church, and you must give it to us. First he refused, and then he paused and said, oh, yes, I'll give it to you. Come to the certain piazza next Saturday. And next Saturday came, and St. Lawrence was there, and the Roman soldiers arrived, and the piazza according to the legend, was full of the poor, the marginalized, those who are sick, and the widows. And St. Lawrence turned to the soldiers and said, here are the riches of the church. And for that, he was martyred on the spot so badly. The word deacon means servant, and in a sense, all of us are deacons and deaconesses, because we're all called to serve each other. So often in the parables and teachings of Jesus, 
If you did it to the least of my little ones, you did it to me. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the mystery of this water and wine, we become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you, the bond of your contract. Lord, wash away our iniquity. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May God accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the prayer to the glory of his name, for our good and for the Lord his church. Receive with favour, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they may become a help to our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Lawrence, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Lawrence, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other, let us bow to each other as a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being at Mass today. Hope you have a safe day in the sun today. Be careful. It's still, still pretty hot. Thanks for the contributions to the food bank, uh, which continues be, to be good. Next public mass will be on Thursday, if you can come to that. But we'll continue with the broadcasting of the daily masses, except on Wednesdays and Saturdays. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks.